Hi everybody, this is Patrick from Doggy Dashboard, and today I'm going to show you a few ways you can create new client and pet records in the system. So let's get started. First, if we go here to the top and we go to the pet database, you'll see that there are no pets in the database right now. And if you go to the client database, there are no clients in the database. So to get started, let's just create a, a client the old-fashioned way. We'll click cl client there. This client will be named first name Jill, last name Jones, phone number is that, and the Jill at example.com is email address. If you scroll down here, you can see that there are lots of other fields you can fill in, address, city, state, postal code, as well as emergency contacts. So we're just going to go through and say 555 Main Street, Chicago, Illinois, referral source, we're not going to use emergency contact, we'll use Bob Jones, maybe that's her husband, we don't know. And we'll put a phone number in there. Additional phone can be her work phone number. And we'll put a phone number there. The vet clinic, these are, we're going to add a new vet clinic. And we're going to put in uh, vet center health clinic. And then put a phone number in there as well. And, and then here we have some custom owner fields. Those you can update in your business settings menu. If you go to the business settings menu right there, you can add names for these custom fields and you can say whatever information in those you want to. Um, and so you'll do that in a, a different video, you'll see how to do that. And so now we're going to save this new pet owner. And now you'll see that in the database, Jill Jones has been saved. All the information that we just saved is there. If you go to the client database, there is Jill Jones. Uh, so we'll click on her name. And now it says pets, there are no pets here. So if we click on there, none, it'll open up the new pet window, which will automatically populate the pet owner here as Jill Jones. You can also go here to pets and create new pet. And then you can see that the pet owner needs to be selected. We would select Jill Jones. Jill Jones has a dog named Sparky. It's an Australian shepherd, and it is going to be a neutered male. Here are the base vaccines that Doggy Dashboard tracks. You can see there's three right there uh, that are pre-input, and then vaccine number four and vaccine number five. Uh, you can use those forever you want. And honestly, you can go into the business settings menu and change all these vaccines to anything you want to track. So maybe you guys don't want to use rabies for the first vaccine. Maybe you want to use Bortella there. Just simply type in Bortella as your first vaccine. DPP is your third vaccine. Maybe you have a fecal examination in there. You can really update those vaccines as much as you want in the business settings menu. So we're just going to say that rabies expires on the 21st, and DPP on the 13th, and let's say that uh, Bordetella expired already, and we'll put this one more in the future. Uh, we have a bunch of different fields here, color, weight, microchip. So we'll add a microchip here. Weight is 25 pounds. Um, you can add in two cups of dry food around 11 a.m. And then once again, here's custom pet fields. There's three more custom pet fields. Once again, go to the business settings menu right up here, and then you can give these names. Maybe you wanna have one called training notes or something like that. It's really up to you what you wanna save there. We're going to add a picture of this pet. So we click to upload a picture. We're gonna browse. We're gonna find an Australian Shepherd right there we'll crop that picture and now the picture is getting uploaded it shows up right there let's add that pet and then you can see it says sparky has been added to jill jones's pet list so jill jones now has one pet showing sparky and there you can see sparky and the dog's picture and all the information right below that we just entered and here you can see that it notifies you right away that the Boratel of expiration is already expired because it is before today's date, whereas these two vaccines are both in good standing still. So that's how you add a pet doing it uh, one by one, first client, then pet. If you want, you can also add a client and a pet at the same time by clicking here, client plus pet in the create menu. This is if you want to add both the client and the pet at the same time, obviously. So the first name is going to be Ba, last name is going to be Jones. Next, we have a Jones already, let's do Bob Smith. Phone number is going to be something like this. And then the email is going to be Bob underscore Jones at example.com. If we want to add more information, we simply click here, the gray box, and we can fill in as much owner information as we want to right there. 
And then the same thing for the pet. The pet's name is going to be Fido, of course. The breed is going to be a Golden Retriever. I'll spell that right. The sex is going to be a neutered male. And once again, there's tons of information here that you can save for that pet. But right now, we're only saving uh, those, the name and the breed. We'll also quickly upload a picture while we're here. And we'll find a Golden Retriever right there. Crop that picture. And now the picture has been added. Let's go here, save the owner and pet. And now you can see that Bob Smith has had a new pet named Fido added. So here's Bob Smith with the information we added. If we go over here to Fido, you can see that Fido has been added with the picture that we sent, as well as some of the information we supplied. And so that is how you create a pet and owner at the same time. It's super quick if you want to add a bunch of uh, clients and pets at the same time. The only downfall is if the owner has more than one pet, you have to first add them the owner and the first pet here, and then on the, the owner screen, just go here and click add new pet and add the second and third and fourth pets. There's no way to add more than two pets uh, with one owner at the same time. And that is how you get started using Doggy Dashboard adding uh, pets and owners. And here you can see in our database now, Sparky and Fido both show up. Uh, and it, this red line here means that uh, Sparky has some upcoming vaccines because we know that uh, the DPP vaccine or the Bordetella vaccine was expired. So thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.